got my new mic. So, I hope you guys are hearing me just fine. So, welcome in, my name is Jam. I do try on hauls here, and I do a lot of navigation hauls because I am a navigation athlete. So if you guys wanna support me, I do have a support code, which is Jam. No, it does not give you a discount. Just clarifying that with you guys, okay? Anyways, it's been a long time since I've been doing try on hauls. I know it's just only been navigation, but I promise I'm going to expand my horizon of try on hauls and other brands. So if you guys have any recommendations, please do let me know in the comments below. But today I do wanna focus on the December launch and this is going to be releasing on December 10th at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Eastern time and 7 a.m. Pacific time. So all my West Coast, y'all gotta wake up early. I'm sorry, but y'all just gotta set an alarm. I know I have to do it too because I have a hard time promoting it on the day of. Not to mention, it's gonna be on my birthday. Isn't it wild? Like, I don't know about you guys, but from 2020 to like now, feels like it never happened. I don't remember how old I was, but I don't even wanna say my age because I just feel like I never went past 25. And ever since then, I'm just 25 forever. Do I feel old? Absolutely not. If anything, I feel more young. Yeah, it does not feel like I'm getting old at all. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I wanna focus on the try and haul because I'm gonna get y'all prepared for this try and haul and tell you guys all about what's gonna be releasing and restocking, as well as talking about the quality of each product and how it fits on me as someone who is 4'11". So if you are a petite, lady petite people out there give this video a like because i know y'all feel me when it comes down to shopping you know like shopping for clothes is always so hard because everything is too long for us and it doesn't look proportional because you know we're short. That is why I'm here to help you guys out with the leggings. And I do want to say overall, navigation leggings are very well suited for people with short legs. I think that's mainly because Ashley, the owner of navigation, is petite herself. I mean, I'm like 4'11". She's 5'2", 5'1", so she's on the short side as well. So I'm pretty sure when she makes these leggings, you know, the height and length do come in mind so that's why i love navigation because of that very reason she understands as petite people but anyways this is not going to be like a huge launch it's just more like a soft mini launch because there aren't a lot of colors coming out but this is still going to be a restock so if you never got the chance to really shop from navigation because they do always sell out then this is a perfect time for you to shop because they're going to restock a lot of sizes that went out of stock I myself did a lot of restocking shopping because there were a lot of like colors I never got to get because I'm an athlete we only get like a few number of pieces so I didn't get everything you know I wish I did but I did it for me when I picked out these pieces it was more so like getting the colors that I never got because I love all the navigation leggings like I'm the type of person that's like give me the same style but like in all colors and navigation does that well. Before I get started on this try and haul, I do wanna show you guys my measurements. Here you go. I hope this helps you a little bit. I really try to be as detailed as possible with my measurements because I know some people can have, can be 4'11", but we could have different waistline, we could have different, I don't know, hip measurements. And it's gonna fit the leggings a little bit more differently, so I hope these measurements will kinda help you as a reference. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with the bras because I, I don't like bras in general. Sports bras are just always such a workout, like put on, it's, it's a whole ass exercise. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. But for this upcoming launch, they are going to be releasing really, really cute stuff styles and it's super flattering and I'm so glad I got these but I am missing I think one style bra because that came in late so I never got it and it probably won't make it to this video because I do want to post this as soon as possible so I'll probably just post it up on my IG. Go follow me on there if you guys haven't already. But anyways, got my little catalog right here. So I'm gonna be sharing this, the PDF with you guys in the description as well. So you can go over along that with me. So you guys know all of the details, the colors that we'll be releasing 
this upcoming launch. All right, first up for the bras, we have the Radiance bra. And no, this is not a new style, but they are releasing two new colors, which is beige and forest green. And I got the beige one because I have a lot of beige legging, beige, beige, beige leggings <laughs> and shorts, and I wanted to match with them. So I actually ended up getting one of the beige leggings with it. I'm gonna show you guys like a side-by-side -side, like color comparison because I don't know about me, but like, do I see colors differently? I think I do. I think it's because I don't, I don't, I don't, I like colors. I am an artist. So I see hues and colors very, very, uh, very closely. If we look at, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but these are the leggings. This is the contour beige leggings. I wanted these so bad because I like anything neutral toned. So these are the two beige pieces. If you guys look closely, they're somewhat different. I think one is like a warmer color and the other one's like cooler. But anyways, it's not like the same exact color. And my theory to this is I think it's because of the difference in fabric and material. Like the bra is 75% nylon, 25% spandex. And for the leggings, we've got 13% spandex, 87% nylon. So I think that difference in the formula does kind of change up the color a little bit. Just to be mindful of that, personally, I don't really care because when you're in the gym, depending on what gym you go to, like the lighting is always gonna change. Some gyms have like rainbows, like my gym has some crazy like um, neon lights and it's really dark. So I feel like no one really pays attention to that. Like every lighting is gonna look different. So I don't mind that, I just wanted it to match. The fact that they're both beige, I'm happy with it. So let's go try this on. I love this bra because there's a mesh thing on the back. Like there's a mesh strip right here, so you get a lot of airflow, especially if you are the gal to sweat a lot. And in the front, you get this kind of like cross. And personally, I like that look because it makes your waist look so snatched. So I'm gonna put that on and show you guys. <sighs> okay, holy, holy moly. This bra is so tight and I forget how tight it is until I start putting it on. Like this band is just really compressed personally, like getting myself into it. I don't know if it's because of my weight or whatever, my measurements, but this is really hard to get on. And it is a little bit like revealing. I personally don't mind it, but I think my bra pad is messed up. I love it. It feels pretty snug. Like it's just compressive around the waistband, but on the shoulder pads, where those traps, it feels just fine. I would say this is a low to medium impact. I wouldn't do a lot of high intensity workouts in these because these are pretty revealing, you know? Um, and I find that like every time, like I, you know, look down, I'm always like, touching my chest and covering myself up. But yeah, this is the bra, I love it. And this is the back detail. So it doesn't really show off a lot of, uh, you know, your back, but overall I still think it's flattering. And for someone who is petite, I find this, at least the back, I find the back a little bit more lengthier because I don't know, I feel like whenever I wear leggings with it, it's like always touching the bottom, if that makes sense. Even though there is a color difference, a very slight color difference, I still find this pretty cute. But this is what I mean by the bottom is pretty much touching the leggings. I guess I don't mind it. It's so cute, that's all that matters. I got the white on. Okay, this one is just as tight. That's the thing, That's it's only tight in this area. Everywhere else, it fits just fine, but I do love the cross over here. It just adds so much like oomph to the look. It makes you look like you have a snatched waist, give you a little boost of confidence. And I've paired this up with the beige leggings because these are two cute colors. I feel like this is one of those bras that you really need to have in your closet because it just makes you look girl. Like I don't have anything up here, but this is giving, this is giving, okay. What I truly love about these bras, all bras, like all navigation bras, is that they do have padding. So I'm a little bit more conservative when it comes to like bras. So I like mine with a little bit of padding. So I love that they have that in there. But yeah, you can never go wrong with a color white. It's just 
something that will match anything. All right, next up, we've got the Streamline. What is that? Streamline Seamless Bra. When I first put this on, I was like, am I, am I really that flat? Am I the problem? Am I the drama? I don't have the upper body length to like hold this strap up. I was tripping out at first because you see how loose this is? Like that, that, that's crazy loose. But here's the thing, okay? Gotta put your head under and boom, it's a whole new bra. This is probably my favorite one from this release. It's very new. It is a new piece, new style. And I love it because it's not tugging at all. Like I feel like there's been other bras similar to this where it tugs and it really hurts your neck, but this one doesn't. It really doesn't. It sits perfectly fine around your neck and it is holding up. And let's take a look at the details of this bra. It is a rib bra and y'all know me and my rib patterns. I love, I love rib patterns. I just think it's such a subtle texture on fabric and I'm absolutely in love. Now I know I haven't gotten the other bra, but so far I love this one from this new collection or from this new launch. And this is the backside. You got a simple, Logo placement on the back, wraps around just nice, very flattering. And yes, it does have removable pads, all of these do. And I would say this is kind of like a low to medium impact bra. I definitely wouldn't do a lot of like jumping in these, not too many high impact where you're like moving and swaying your body too much. Um, but overall, I would definitely wear this on my lifting days. That's pretty much it for the bras. And now we're gonna move on to the shorts and the leggings. And I feel like the ones I got are more like restocks and I didn't really get the new ones, <laughs> which I should have, honestly. But I'm gonna show it to you guys anyways, just in case you are interested in the colors. So the first leggings I'm gonna go over is the Signature 2.0 leggings. Now this is actually a very new color. And personally, I'm not that into like the Signature legging because it just looks like it's your staple basic looking legging. And when I say basic, that's not to say it's a negative thing. Like this is your staple legging. I honestly kind of wanted this in black because it is one of those like super simple, solid looking leggings and it's super buttery and silky. It's like your second skin. So that's why I wanted it in red because I just wanted that like really plain solid look. So let's go try that on. So these are the Signature 2.0 leggings. This is in red wine and I love this type of red. It's just very deep color. It's a very festive color this season, which was perfect. That's why I wanted these. And I also love how it's like super buttery. Like it's kind of like Lululemon, but like better because it's more affordable and it feels just like the Lululemon leggings. Like I, I just love how it sits perfectly on my waist. I find that this aren't as flattering to your glutes, but that's okay. I still love the simple design to it. I feel like this is more prone to getting a camel toe in just because it's, it is very thin. So just to be mindful of that, I definitely would wear underwear under these. I do wanna say that I feel like this is a little bit lengthier for someone who is short. I get a little bit of like extra fabric around my knees and around my, um, ankle so if you're petite like me just do be mindful of that but it's honestly not that terrible you can kind of like keep scrunching it up and adjust it however you want these are the leggings super buttery smooth i want to say this is very true to size yeah let's move on to the next legging next up we've got the contour seamless shorts in meadow gosh it's so soft i don't know what it is about this color but i swear the other like contour shorts weren't this like stretchy and soft like this lit on so nice and it's i love shorts i freaking love shorts it's just nowadays it's very cold in la and i refuse to wear shorts in the gym i freaking love it if you are petite go get yourself some shorts because it will make you look taller in my opinion because it really accentuates your legs it puts a lot of focus on your legs and i don't know that itself just adds a lot of length to your legs and it is coming out in candy apple as well and forest green which i didn't get because i like this type of green a lot more so it's very flattering i roll it up a bit like i kind of hike it up i just love this fabric i don't know if they did anything to it but this feels a lot more snug like it feels perfect it's not like digging into my waist or anything like that it is just 
the right compression. I realized I didn't get a lot of the new items like the candy apple, the camo leggings I didn't get. I wasn't always a fan. I'm, I'm gonna just be real with you guys. I don't always love the camo leggings because I don't like a lot of textures on leggings. I like the minimal contour look. The thing with the camo leggings is that it's a little bit longer. Like I get a lot of scrunching around the knees and around the ankles. So that's why I didn't get it. I believe there are new scrunch seamless leggings as well, but I have so many of those. They do have it in meadow. Like these are pretty much the main colors. Like those are the two new colors. So this one's this one is the scrunch. And then we've got the camel leggings right here. I love that green. I was like debating on whether to get it or not, but I don't know. I just don't wear enough camel leggings. If you love camel leggings and you love that print, then yes, by all means, go get that color because that color is so cute along with the candy apple, but I don't have a lot. All right, so I got the sky blue in the contour seamless leggings. I have it in shorts, but like I said, it's pretty much like winter time and I don't wanna wear shorts. These are so freaking cute. Okay, my favorite color isn't blue, but this blue on me, girl. These are one of the restocks for this upcoming launch. If you love blue, this is the color to get. So the last color I wanna show you guys from the contour leggings is the periwinkle. I have these in the scrunch shorts, scrunch leggings, and I love the color. The thing is, I don't like purple in general, but periwinkle, periwinkle, say less. Periwinkle is like, it's like my favorite shade of purple. It's so cute. I love this color and I feel like I have to get this whenever they launch a new style. Like this is a must get. If I'm being honest, this feels a little bit more snug, a little bit more tighter than the sky blue and the forest, not sorry, the meadow color. The difference is not significant. Like it still feels good. It just feels a little bit more snug around the waist. If you don't have this color yet, like I think this color is going to sell out. So act quickly. And that is pretty much it for this try and haul. If you guys are gonna ask me like, which one should you get? If this is your first time shopping at Navigation, like I know this is a lot to, you know, take in. So if I were to pick five items from this collection and only five items, I would say get this bra, streamline seamless bra. Yes, get this bra. Like I, y'all, this is probably one of my favorite bras that they've made ever. Get any contour seamless leggings. I, like you can never go wrong with a contour seamless leggings. That's like the staple of navigation. Like you can't go wrong with that. And I would say get the scrunch seamless shorts. Scrunch seamless is not like the most popular one, but I love it. And I've gotten comments from people saying that they don't like the scrunch. That's like the scrunch effect in general. Like people don't like that feeling. Personally, I don't mind it. Like you get used to it. I love how like the waistline of scrunch shorts are a lot like shorter as a petite person that's very flattering for me so I love that oh ooh, oh my god I didn't even sh tell you guys the limitless this is a mouthful the limitless ribbed seamless halter bra y'all have to get this one y'all gotta get this bra this bra right here that bra right there y'all have to get it and they are coming out with candy apple and forest green I didn't get those in color because I like my colors very basic <laughs> if you like matching outfits by all means, go get the candy apple and forest green. I love this halter bra because halter bras just really makes your back look so, so, so good and so flattering. Like I could buy more of these if they release new colors. 100%, 100%, that's gotta be my top five. And the last one, okay, this is hard for me to say because I haven't gotten the product, but based on how it looks, I don't know how it feels, but I'm hoping and praying that I get it tomorrow I think tomorrow, right? Tomorrow or Thursday. I hope I get it sometime soon and I hope that it fits well. But the back design of this, the back design of this, the Invincible Seamless Bra, y'all. Look, look at it, look at it. It's so cute. I love the strap design. It does say that it's for low impact. So I'm assuming that this bra isn't gonna be as snug, meaning that you know, the string on the back isn't going to be tugging your back. Cause I don't like that. I feel like I've had like back straps that are like super thin, but it's just like digs into your back. I'm hoping this isn't the case for this one. The front is so minimal, but the back is like, yes, party in the back, business in the front. I love that. Anyways, those are my top five. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys wanna see more try and hauls, I am going to do more try and hauls 
with other brands. So stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of that. Oh, 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 I haven't even mentioned this to you guys, but I am currently hosting a giveaway on my Instagram. So if y'all want to follow me right here, I will be announcing the winner on December 8th. So y'all also got time. If you guys have any questions about the launch, let me know in the comments below. I would usually answer pretty quickly and help you guys out before the launch happens because they do tend to sell out pretty quick. So for my West Coast besties out there, y'all got to set an alarm. I'm going to say this every time. I'm going to warn you guys every time. Please set an alarm because I have slept through my alarms a lot through navigation launches and I forget to post about it. <laughs> and again, I have a code with them. My code is GEM. Just enter that at checkout. It will 100% support me. I get a small commission off of it, like a very small commission. So for everyone that's been using my code, I want to say thank you. So like if you guys use my code this December 10th, that's basically my birthday present and I appreciate that so much. Anyways, I hope this helped you a ton and if you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Thank you.